I fell into the game with instant kill chapter. Neutral Nations Conference she felt like her mind suddenly turned completely white, for a moment, the anger and embarrassment she had been holding back rushed, tightening Asha's heart as if it would explode, how, how did he notice, it was a dark night years ago, and it was just a moment when they met each other, Asha didn't think he would recognize her, but apparently he did, no, those things were irrelevant, Asha quickly came to her senses, she glared at the general with eyes full of murderous intent, his gaze was indifferent and cold. It was the same look he had when they met at that cliff, something that remained in her memory until now, a wind blew, and silence lingered for a while on the terrace with only the two of them, I thought you would die in the end but I didn't expect you to be alive and well, he obviously didn't like that fact, as evidence of his displeased voice, it brought a bit of joy to Asher, though. Do you remember me? I just said that, didn't I? There was one pesky white moon that I had a hard time catching because it was quite ferocious. I remember it clearly. The general glanced at the banquet hall inside and continued. Looks like you're an escort knight for the Seventh Lord. Did you commit yourself to Kulderic for revenge? <sighs> Asha opened her mouth, but shut it quickly once again, before she knew it. She realized one hand was already resting on the hilt of her sword. Her throat trembled as she swallowed the rising rage. If this conversation continued any more than this, she felt like she really could not control herself anymore. Asha breathed in and out several times, and continued walking without paying attention to the general. The general looked at her with a strange expression, then opened his mouth again. Aren't your attitude too lukewarm? The enemy of your tribe is right in front of you, you know. Asher ignored it and continued moving, however. She had no choice but to reflexively stop again at the words that followed. But, it seemed that you value your life greatly. It's a pathetic but wise choice. Keep running away from me like that from now on. Asher looked back at the general with a distorted face. Did she value her life more? Was she running away? What the hell was he spouting? She couldn't control her trembling body and finally opened her mouth. Shut up. I will surely kill you with my own hands someday. The general snorted. Yeah, that's what I mean by making excuses and running away. And not running away. Was the white moon who was with you on the cliff at that time your younger sister? The string of reason suddenly broke. Then you abandoned your sister and ran away. And today you run away like this again. Your younger sister in the underworld will resent you. Crying out revenge when you're just a coward. Asha's whole body was dyed pure white, a huge black spirit rushed from her sword, which was pulled from its scabbard, whoa, Asha went out to the terrace, and soon after, the general, who was on one side of the banquet hall, got up from his seat and went out to that direction as well, I, who was having a conversation with the king of Earth Hill, narrowed my eyes as I watched this scene, I apologized to the king and stood up accordingly. It could be just a coincidence, but it was still worrying, and I was right to feel that anxiety, it was because as I walked to the terrace and raised my super sensory, I heard two people talking, it seemed that you value your life greatly, was the white moon who was with you on the cliff at the time your younger brother, then you abandoned your sister and ran away, and today you run away like this again, your younger sister in the underworld will resent you, crying out revenge when you're just a coward. I tried to move faster with a cold, hard expression on my face, but that was then, well, a huge magical aura, and then an explosion. Everyone in the banquet hall turned to that direction in amazement. The smoke cleared, and I saw two people standing on the half-destroyed terrace. I sighed inside, this Esher's whole body was dyed pure white. Even her racial trait was activated, she drew her sword, and her eyes were bloodshot with anger, and right in front of him, the general, standing calmly with one hand outstretched, it was the sight of Asher launching an attack and the general blocking it, amidst the turmoil, the knights who had been guarding the surroundings quickly gathered, and the others retreated far away from the terrace, I slowly approached the two people who were confronting each other, Asher, when I called her name, she glanced back at me, but soon turned her gaze back to the general and glared at him. Tim, the overlord, who had come near me, tilted her head and said, What, isn't that the escort knight of the seventh lord? What kind of fuss is this all about at a fun banquet?
the general, who looked at me and the overlord, withdrew his outstretched hand and said, I was just defending against the attack, the knight here misunderstood something, I laughed, I was dumbfounded because I had heard all the conversations the two had with my super sensory, what kind of bullshit was that bastard saying just now, the overlord moved his gaze to Asha and tilted her head, and more than that did you know about this seventh lord, looking at that figure, she's not a human but a white moon,